now what we're doing is really changing the way that this industry operates by mixing art and science and technology into candy. We're turning this traditional industry into a whole new concept. You know, I didn't, you know, strive to break the mold with chocolate. It just, I did it. And I think I was able to do it because my background, you know, going to law school and being an attorney pushes you to always be thinking. And so when I went to culinary school and they said, this, these are the rules, this is how you do it, my thought was, that, you just made that up. You don't have to do it that way. I had a nice life before. Great steady paycheck, great career trajectory, you know, lots of opportunity, but I wasn't happy. So I sort of just went off that path. And it, there were times that were tough, you know, when you start a business with an unstable bank account, it doesn't feel good with a young family. When I started, um, the only time I could get in the kitchen, um, in a rental kitchen, was from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And I had a, cabinet, a little square for all of my supplies. And so, you know, I left my eight-month-old at home with my husband. He was traveling a lot for work at the time, so um, my daughter would sleep on the floor some nights in a nest of blankets, um, out of the zone of danger, but, you know, just because we had to be there all night long. And um, it was intense, but it makes us appreciate the space we have now so much more. After practicing law for almost 10 years, uh, my family and I moved to Austin. And Austin is such a vibrant, colorful place. I just wanted to be part of the creative community. Um, and so I decided to go to Le Cordon Bleu and learn all about pastry and baking, which I'd been interested in before, but I hadn't ever turned it into anything. We did about a week on chocolate, and it was enough for me to realize it's a very cool medium, artistically, that you can shape, and you can color, and you can turn into all sorts of things, but it doesn't change the way it tastes. So I couldn't understand why if you could make a chocolate that was a circle, or you could make the same chocolate, but it was shaped like a lipstick, why wouldn't you make a lipstick? You know, before, when it was all analytical, and I was practicing law, I felt as though I wasn't being my true self. But then on the flip side, if I'm just creating stuff, I feel like I'm also not being who I am completely and not living to my potential. So by melding those two together, I actually feel as though this is the person I was born to be. And so when we got here, I was shocked about how amazing this town was. You know, just, it's beautiful. The people are so welcoming and the energy here was just very exciting. I felt as though things were happening, and this was an exciting time to be here. The city was changing, and we were part of that. It was changing in a really positive way. It immediately was clear that this was our forever home. And this was after living in, you know, seven different cities in the U.S. And it's just, it really got my energy going creatively. Uh, and I just felt as though this was the place for me to do something different. It would, that it would be really accepting of a really quirky concept, which is fashion forward chocolate. What excites me the most is when I make something and it's part of our collection and then somebody buys it for the first time. And I can't believe that somebody wants something that I made. You know, it's so basic, but even more than magazines, and we've had fabulous press and everything along those lines. You know, to, when you're a creator and people respond to it, it's fabulous, it feels amazing. 